Welcome to the new and improved way to get item level 437 gear on your characters. With patch 10.1.7's release, there are three new major additions that completely remove friction from gearing alt characters and may even give your main, if they're a little bit behind, that extra bit of juice to get ready for patch 10.2. Theoretically, you can now hit item level 437 gear without doing a single raid or mythic plus, which is kind of wild. I'll do things in this order. So, if you've got a fresh 60 and you want to gear it briskly, let's start from there and go. Number one, break open your wallet or realistically dig behind the sofa to find a few thousand gold because the Zaralek BOE bits of gear actually sell for dirt cheap in the auction house. And this means you can get straight to around eye level 376 as soon as you ding. That will of course help you not get squished. Over a few characters, this can cost like between four and 8K, which is a drop in the bucket. Sometimes trinkets and weapons are expensive, but feel free to skip those. Now, this part is technically optional, but being above eye level 372 unlocks for you the Dawn of the Infinite dungeon on heroic mode, and that is going to save you a hell of a lot of time. But before we go there, you're going to want to go and do the new 1017 feature, Dream Surges. Long story short, this is where you can get item level 402 bind on account tokens by just flying around the zone and doing stuff. Pretty great. The Dream Surge zone will have empowered rares, world quests, and an event every 30 minutes. Doing those drops you a currency called Coalescence, and with that, you can buy item level 402 BOA tokens, with those tokens themselves sometimes just dropping from the content. The gear from these tokens starts at item level 402, but of course it can be upgraded all the way to 424. Then, there's the weekly quest in the Dream Surge zone. It only takes a few minutes, and it will get you a soul-bound token that's called a Chrysalis. You can trade this for a piece of item level 415 gear of your choosing, and it can eventually be upgraded to eye level 437. Now, of course, if you skipped getting a weapon from the auction house, I'd say that a weapon is a very good thing to buy with your first Chrysalis. Uh, clearing out the Dream Surge zone of rares and world quests is therefore probably your fastest way to get a full set of eye level 402 gear on your new character, and if you're done but missing a few pieces, you can always bring some uh, alts in and then just funnel the tokens over. Or you could go straight into some more new content. And that's because when you're all Dream Surged out, you'll mostly be eye level 402, but you'll still be missing trinkets and you'll have a lot of gear to upgrade, but you won't have any resources to upgrade that gear with. And that is where our new Mega Dungeon comes in. The new heroic difficulty of Dawn of the Infinite will get absolutely rolled over by most groups, especially with some higher geared players just doing it for transmog at launch. So queue up for both wings and clear them to get a good shot at trinkets, to fill out any missing slots with 402 gear, and to get a whole stack of Whelpling Crests and Flight Stones. In total, you should get three crests, which is enough to upgrade from 402 to 411, and over 500 Flight Stones, and you can run this daily. Therefore, at this stage of the game, it may actually be the fastest and easiest source of Flight Stones, so definitely make use of this when you need to. Anyway, you should now be 402 at this point with a single bit of 415 gear from the Dream Surge. If you're still missing some trinkets, you can always go and do the time rifts. If you don't know what they are, don't worry. They happen every single hour. Just talk to Sora Dormy and follow the instructions. You'll see it on your map. The boss can drop items and the whole thing gets you power causal fragments. These are a currency that you can purchase loads of cosmetics with, but also a range of trinkets that are actually pretty damn cool. They're themed after like big legendary weapons from across war. Warcraft. Now you'll also get an epic token for doing your first clear of the week, and this token can be turned in for a bit of 402 gear. But of course, given how full of Dream Surge gear you're going to be, this probably won't be a big focus. Okay, now it's time for the third edition to patch 10.1.7, though this one is technically just an event, and that is Turbulent Timeways. This event is going to be back either with the launch of 10.1.7 or sometime after, likely the lead up to patch 10.2. And in addition to having a whole bunch of XP up for grabs from all those time walking dungeons, it does also bring a huge upgrade to your gearing speed. And that's because each week for six weeks, you'll be able to get a piece of heroic raid gear from the weekly quest. And that's the weekly quest to do five time walking dungeons. Yeah, do five, you get a bit of heroic gear. And honestly, from that like baseline of 402 plus upgrades, this is going to be where you'll find like what could be if you're not a raider or a mythic pluser, some of your like best gear. So absolutely 
keep an eye out for this. And of course, it will have a XP boost component too, so it'll be great for leveling characters. Okay, now the final piece of the puzzle, crafted gear catch up. You'll probably have got quite a few of these. These are splintered sparks of shadow flame. You probably got them when you were doing your Dawn of the Infinite run. Well, these are for crafted gear. If you combine two of these, you get a spark. And for each spark, you can coordinate with a crafter to get a piece of item level 424 gear made. Ideally, you'll want to look up your best in slot crafted item from a class guide and make that first. Now, these sparks drop from basically any group content now. They do actually come pretty damn fast. But you can also get one from the weekly quest in Loam, which is the main hub of the Zaharlek Cavern. Realistically, though, if you just run Dawn of the Infinite and Heroic, you'll probably be swimming in just about every resource that you need, including these sparks. Okay, so at this point then, you should have some juicy gear from Time Walking if it's happened yet, a few pieces of crafted item level 424 gear, and a whole stack of veteran gear that you've maybe upgraded to item level 411. Now, to get to your next stage, which is item level 424, you'll need Drake Crests, and these will come from Weekly World Content, Normal Raid, or Mythic Plus 6 and above. And this is where you have two options. Number one, wait for the time gates, or do regular content, because with weekly Dream Surge champion gear, the time walking events uh, and sparks, and then the weekly sources of Drake Crests, you should be able to slowly get yourself to item level 424 in every slot in the run up to patch 10.2's release. You can even get up to item level 437 that way. And this is because the game now has two sources of easy worm crests. These are the ones that are needed for champion and hero gear. The first new one is from Dream Surge, is where instead of a piece of 415 item level gear, you can trade your weekly token in for a single worm crest. Yeah, it's slow, but it's progress. You can then also run Alifar to fill up the Great Vault, and uh, instead of taking the probably crappy gear from the vault, you can just take the backup tokens, and then you can trade those tokens in for worm crests, up to three a week. Then for your crafted gear that's stuck at 424, you can always recraft those if you can save up five worm crests and then get an enchanter to make you an enchanted crest. And this is an easy way for you to get item level 437 gear. It'll just take a few weeks. Of course, if you want to go faster than that or get even better gear, you've got to go into the content. It's uh, pretty tough, but right now the best way to get that gear is probably to do Dawn of the Infinite on Mythic Difficulty. Uh, that will get you some maxed out heroic gear and aspect crests, which you can use to get up to a massive item level of 447. Now, this is on a weekly lockout and... Uh, well, because of that, it is extremely efficient for the time you do spend in it. Just make sure you're item level 415 or above first. It does actually require decent gear. Gotta say, though, it's really fun. So, yeah, you know, do it because it's fun. Of course, you can also just raid, which should be pretty damn easy these days. Like, everyone's min-maxing their gear. Characters are in a good state. Heroic should be quite a cakewalk. Um, that will drop, of course, plenty of hero gear and worm crests. Then if Mythic Plus is your thing, well, Mythic Plus 16 is the best item level to run. It's essentially the meta key that the extremely uh, good players will want because it's just the most time efficient way for them to get what they want. So what you can do, right, is piggyback off them using your own key. And the best part here is, you can do that Mythic Plus 16. They probably won't need the gear. You'll be swimming in gear and worm crests. And then, if you do the 16 and upgrades your key, you can just go to the NPC and then deplete your key back to 16, get yourself a few more really good players from the finder and just keep on going. So to summarize, start with 376 BOE gear, do daily dream surge and heroic uh, mega dungeon to get up to around 410. If you're missing trinkets, you can pick those up from the time rifts. You can then utilize the various weekly sources of gear in the game, like the dream surge. And then when the turbulent timeways event comes, use the weekly quests there. Then make sure to use your sparks of shadow flame to craft some juicy gear, run the mythic mega dungeon if you feel confident enough. And uh, between all of those timelines, Locked sources, do whatever the hell you want that'll grant you some crests, be that uh, world content, raid, or mythic plus. It's simple, but with the addition of what's now here in 1017, what used to just be me saying, go do group content, actually is now a lot more friendly to the solo player. Like I said at the top of the video, if you're patient or you don't have much time to play each week, you can still reach the gear level essentially of a heroic raider, 437, which leaves you in the perfect place to start off patch 10.2. 
Okay, I hope you found today's video useful for your character. I'm pretty excited to see what patch 10.2 is, and hell, maybe by the time this video has came out, you actually know what it is because it's been announced. I'm certainly expecting it soon. All right, have a great day. See you next time.